Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this bracelet using triangular tubular herringbone, which we learned from the book Modern Beaded Lace by Cynthia Newcomer Daniel. And she is so, she was so sweet to um, allow me to use this stitch and make these earrings. And um, so I went ahead and did the bracelet as well. And I just love how it came out. I think it's just such a pretty, pretty, pretty stitch and makes such a beautiful component. So we're going to work on this bracelet today. We'll make this one. Um, so I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So 8 OC beads, 11 OC beads, 4 millimeter round bead. I'm using a druck here. You can use a pearl. I've got a stop bead. I'm using dragon thread here, and this is the 0 .006 inch diameter. This is super for this project because this is a tight weave here and this is nice and strong but it's very flexible so I really would recommend that you try the dragon thread for this. I think eight pound fire line is going to be too uh, too thick for it. Even four pound, I used four pound I think on the earrings that worked okay but this is better. This made it so much easier. This is really good thread. Um, did I say clasp? I have a, a two strand box clasp. I might have said that. I'm using size 12 beading needle. You can use an 11 I also have some 8 pound fire line that I used to add the clasp. I don't know how necessary that was, but I put on the set clasp separately and I used fire line to add that. Okay, so I think that's everything. Anything I missed, I'll list down below. I'll list down below all sizes, shapes, colors, amounts, everything you need to make both bracelets. Um, websites that I love, websites that, where you can purchase the beads if you like. So I'm going to clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about 4 feet of thread, put on a stop bead, about a 6 inch tail. So I picked up and dropped down to my stop bead four of my 11 OC beads. And I'm just going to sew up through the first two after my stop bead. And that's going to just sit those beads side by side, those two little stacks. Exiting the top here, just going to sew down through these two. is what I have. Next I'm going to pick up two of my larger beads, my 8 O's. I'll let that clear up a little bit. There we go. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through the other side of those beads that I'm exiting to add those two beads on and then right back up the two I just added on like that. Let me just stopping a little bit. This is what I have. Now I'm just going to sew down through this two stack of two and then back up these two. Like that. Push. This is what I have so far. Okay, let's make this into a little triangular unit. So exiting right here, I'm just going to sew through these two. So the eight O's. And then I'm going to sew back through these two. Just going to push it over a little bit so it turns into a little unit. And when I pull, this is what I have. So I've got this little sort of triangular unit and I'm exiting this stack on this side. Okay, let's add some beads on. So you're going to pick up two of your 11 O's, exiting here. I'm just going to go down these two. So down two. Make sure that turns into a little herringbone stitch. And then I'm just going to rotate my piece a little bit this way. So you see my 8 O's are on the left. So down two, and then up two. So up the two 8 O's. I'm going to rotate my piece a little bit more so that my 8-0s are now on the right. I'm going to pick up an 8-0. I'm going to sew down one, so that first 11-0 right there. I'm going to make sure it pops over and sits on top of the other 8-0s and then up that same bead. So down one, up one. 
I'm going to flip my piece a little bit so my eight O's are on the left now. Exiting here, I'm going to go down these three like that. And then I'm just going to go up these three. So the 311 O's. And that's all there is to it. We'll do it a few times, but just get to this point and then we'll continue. Okay, let's add some beads on. So picking up two 11 O's, I'm going to go down two, so down to the next, to the two next 11 O's in that stack right there. Make sure it turns into a herringbone stitch. Rotate a little bit. Your eight O's are on the left here, up two. So we went down two 11 O's, up the two eight O's. I'm going to rotate my piece a little bit so my eight O's are on the right. I'm going to pick up an eight O. I'm going to go so down one 11 O. So down one, oops, and back up that same one I put on. So down one, up one, and I'm going to flip this a little bit to so rotate so it's the eight O's are on the left again. I'm going to sew down three, and then up three. Sew down the three eleven O's, up the next three eleven O's. And make sure you don't get caught over here. Make sure your thread goes through. Mine got stuck a little bit. There we go. That's what it looks like. Let's do it again. Two 11 O's, down two, give it a little turn, up the two 8 O's. Turn a little bit so your 8 O's are on the right. Pick up an 8 O, down one, so down that one 11 O. Pop that 8 0 over. Make sure your thread is going across here. So down one, up that same one. So down one, up one. Flip your piece so your 8 0s are on the left again. Down three, and up three. See how we're already starting to curve? And then you're just going to keep doing that. And we'll pop, we'll do one more down, picking up two, down two. Make sure those flip into a herringbone stitch, and then up to the two eight o's right there. Flip your piece so your eight o's are on the right. Pick up an eight o, down one, so this eleven o, down one. Flip it over so it's sitting on top of its the other guys, and then up one. So down one, up one. A little pull. Flip so your eight O's are on the left again. Down three. And then up three. Just like that. Okay? So that's the whole thing. So you're going to keep doing that until you get a nice circle. So here's here's what the circles, here's what they look like, and you're going to you're going to try very hard to get an even number of your outside beads. Actually, just make it an even number. I have 20 and it fits my 8 millimeter pearl very well. So, and if you notice the pearl is sitting above its base here. See how it's sticking up, which um which is fine to fit this pearl with 20. Uh, sometimes you're, you'll it'll take more beads to get around, um, depending on the size of your beads, the size of your pearl. They all differ these days with all the different brands. Just try to get an even number around, just because that way it will make it very easy to sew the pieces together. So if you can't do it in 20, do 22. If you have to switch a bead, um, you know, to make it fit then you know maybe I'm using a check here and a Miyuki in the center maybe try try a um, Toho there are wider beads so you have a little a lot of options but just make sure you have your nice even number 
around and then we'll uh, sew it together and put the pearl in. Okay, time to sew this guy together. So I was thinking, because I have two threads, I have my tail thread and my working thread, that I might use both of them to get a nice tight connection. I didn't do this with the original pair of earrings, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So here I just put a needle on each thread and I'm so I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through sew through like two on the other side like this. And then what if I took the other thread? I did two this way. To sew that together. And then I'm just going to take my thread and just go right in between the eightos here you know, the 8-0s and, you know, stick. it's coming out of the 11 O's. I'm just going to pop it through, turn it over. I think we do the same thing on this side. So let's see if we do that. What if we sew through? Let's see. Let's, let's sew right through these, back through these 11 O's. So we're coming through the 8 O's and back through the 11 O's. We'll get through the 8 O's also, but I thought maybe this would lock these into place. So like that. And then the same thing on this side. I know it's a little cool, keep it. So we're like that. And I'm going to go through these. You know, sort of crisscrossing again on this side. Whether you go through two or three doesn't really matter. So then I have, actually that worked out, so I have that pretty much connected. And then I'm just going to go take my other thread. <laughs> I'm going to go through here. Turn this way, and then I'm going to sew these top beads together. I'm just going through all the beads, right? And then I'm going to take my other thread and I'm going to just sew through, just go through and sew through the beads this way. And let's see if that makes a difference. I mean, I'm kind of doing this, doing it the same way as I did the earrings, only I'm using like a double thread to do it to see if that tightens it any better. And that's not bad. So. I mean, you can play with that and see what you think. Um, I just, you know, I hope you were able to follow that. So you're really just going through all the beads, looping around. I just went through with two needles, and I think that was nice and snug. So I think that worked out. All right, so get that done and come back, and we'll put the pearl on. Okay, we're back, so let's put the pearl in. And I just wanted to say crisscrossing using the two needles worked out really well. It kind of locked everything in place because when I pop the pearl in, because it's a little tight, push it down, it's not pushing the beads apart. So play with that using both needles and sort of, you know, crisscrossing back and forth. Um, and I think it really sewed it in nicely. All right, so I'm exiting right here. Just want to get this thread through an 11 0 So I'm just going to sew through that one. And then I'm going to pick up my pearl. And I'm going to pop it into place. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to let it kind of fall naturally across here. So I'm, okay, just make sure where I'm coming out there. I'm going to sew through an 11 0 on this end. And if you need your size 12 beading needle, go ahead and pick it up like that. So now I'm exiting. So here's my pearl. See how it's coming out? I'm coming out of here, my thread's going through the pearl and then through this one. Let me just straighten myself out here. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go back up through the pearl. And then you want to go through the seed bead, that same seed bead. I just want to make sure I'm coming out of the right one. Okay, I am. So that's this one right here. So I want to sew through the other side of that one. You know, I'm sort of wrapping the pearl around, the thread around these seed beads. Then give it a pull. And there you go, you have your pearl on. And at this point you can just, you can continue sewing through a few beads if you like, or you can just move up to the the 8 sew, sew around a little, put, 
little bit, put a half hitch knot in somewhere, a couple of them, and then just keep one thread, keep your other thread um, for sewing your units together. All right, so get that done, come back and we'll finish. Let's sew some units together. So you wanna put them together and you're gonna use two beads from either end. You wanna kind of get them centered there. And that's why I said use, um, try to keep it an even number because it, you know, it just goes together better. better. So I'm gonna use my threads coming out of here. I'm gonna use these two and these two. So it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter which one you're coming out of. You're just going to be sewing to these two, to these two. So I'm going to pick up two of my 8-0s. Exiting here, I'm going to sew down these two. Like that. I'm going to pick up a couple more 8-0s. I'm going to sew back through these two. So I have those four beads on. Now I want to reinforce this. So I'm just going to go around. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to take my four millimeter bead, pearl, druck, whatever you're working with. Exiting here, I'm just going to drop it down and then I'm going to sew through these two. Like that. And that's going to place it right there. Perfect. Going around the unit one more time. When I come around this side, I'm just going to continue around here and I'm just going to sew some half, tie some half hitch knots. And there you go, you've connected one unit. So connect all your units um, and then come back and we'll put the clasp on. Okay, it's time to add the clasp. So I'm exiting on one side. Actually, I added a thread because I just sometimes I like to add a thread with, for clasps in just case it breaks. You can always add the cl another clasp on. So I'm coming out of, you know, again, like here, I'm just going to do this unit only I'm going to add the clasp. So I'm coming out of two beads on the side that are, um, you know, sort of in the center like so. I'm going to pull in. I'm going to pick up two of my you know, seed beads, and my clasp is a, oops, sorry, it's a box clasp, and you see how it has these rings on the bottom that are facing this way? If yours aren't facing that way and you want to use this clasp, just put some little jump rings there, like three millimeter jump rings. So I'm just going to sew through one of the rings, like that. I'm going to pick up two eightos, and I'm going to sew through the other ring, like that, two more eightos, back through where I started from, two beads, so that it's, see the clasp is on, like that, I'm going to reinforce by going through these two eightos, the ring, the two eightos, the ring, Back down for these two EOC beads. Up through these two. And you can just leave it like that or put on your pearl. So I'm just going to take my pearl. I'm going to pop it in. I'm going to sew through just the eightos, just to attach it like that, and then go around and I guess you can go through the ring here and reinforce. Hi, please. So I'm just going around again just to reinforce it really well and this time I'll go through the through the ring again. So through the ring, oops, through the beads, through the ring, and 
make sure I went through the ring there, yes. Down through the beads again. Now I'm just going to make a turn and go through these guys again and then sew this thread. I'm just going to take this thread and I'm going to put some half hitch knots in around the outside and you've got one end of your clasp on. So get that done and come back and we'll work on the other end. Okay, so we're going to do the other side or I'll get you started on the other side. And what I want to do on this side is I want to show you how to extend the bracelet if you want to. So I am short one component, so I don't have another one of these eight millimeter pearls. So I'm just going to extend. And if I were making this to wear it, I would put two of the, I'm going to put two of these units, these guys, before the clasp instead of just sewing it um, one on and then the clasp. So I would do that on both sides for a fit. So I just wanted to show you how to do it regular, and then I'll show you how to do it um, with it, uh, two of them. So I'm exiting that, you know, the, the side where I want to put my, my clasp on, and I'm gonna, so I'm going to pick up six of my 8-0s. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through the, you know, using those two beads, sewing through that bead. I'm going to reinforce. like that. I'm going to pick up my pearl or my truck or whatever four millimeter you're using here. Pop that in. You know, just do what we've been doing. So just like this, you know, without adding the clasp. So I'm just putting on one of these units at this point, like the attachment unit. And then I want to come out of these two. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to add six. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me, I'm not going to add six. <laughs> Let's back up. I'm going to pick up two. There we go. Now I've got it. <laughs> I'm going to go through my the ring on my the other end of my clasp. I'm going to pick up two. Go through the ring on this side that, pick up two, then I'm going to go through here. You see how that's putting on another unit here. Just make sure you're not going to bump it with this. You might have to consider putting 11 O's here. I'm not sure. I, I think it should work, actually. Worked on the other one. I'm going to go through these two. I'm just going to stick with going through the beads at the moment. That, like that, and then I just want to straighten this out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pick, put my pearl on or my truck. I'm going to go through just the beads. Like that and then you could just you can go through the ring the rings and reinforce and go around and then of course you're going to sew all your threads and you know do some knots so see that's how you would you can add as I guess as many as on as you would like or that looks nice but like I said I would do two on either side and um, that way it would extend it enough to fit my wrist all right so I just wanted you to um, get a look at that so Get that done, come back, and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back and we're done. And didn't that come out nice? I think it's so pretty. And I just wanted to show you the the um, extension. So here I, I took off the other part of the clasp and I did a double extension on either end, and it fits perfectly. Slightly snug, but it breaks its loosen up so, you know, over time. So I'm not really worried about it. Here's the one with the regular ending. I just, I think it came out great either way. So, you know, think about adding these units at the end if you you know if you don't have the extra pearl or you don't want to make the next the extra unit so here we go pretty huh this was fun so I can't wait to continue on now I know we've been doing these circles with this stitch but I've been thinking about it doing like a longer piece and let it sort of curve around a bit and do some like sort of curvy things looks like almost like a ribbon but anyway we'll get we'll we'll, we'll move on <laughs> all right so I want to thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video Bye-bye.